السلام علیکم ویلکم اسٹوڈنٹس ڈی کوڈر ایز اٹ از ایویڈنٹ فرام اٹس نیم اٹ از سم تھنگ وچ ڈی کوڈس انفارمیشن فرام دی بائنری نمبرس فار ایگزامپل ایف سم انفارمیشن وچ ایز جنرلی نون ٹو پیپل سچ ایز الفابیٹس اور نمبرس سو دے آر کنورٹیڈ ٹو سم ادر ٹائپ آف کوڈ which is generally not understandable by people so that is coded uh, into certain numbers and then we need to get back that information from those numbers so decoder actually decodes that information so that it could be understandable by definition a decoder is a combinational circuit that converts n bit code into maximum 2 raised to power n unique outputs so for example if you have a 4 bit code so the different combinations possible at the output are 2 raised to power 4 which is equal to 16 outputs so depends on what is the combination of this 4 bit we could have 16 outputs so let we there are two people which are communicating with each other for example uh, if this is person 1 there is person 2 and they have some certain uh, line of communication exists between them okay so for example if this person sends uh, a 4 bit code to person 2 so and uh, if he sends 0 or let me write is 1 1 0 one. now this is a special code he sends 4 bit code but if this special code is detected by person 2 or received by person 2 he will know that this particular code is received and he has to turn the light off or on or turn the fan off so this particular code must be decoded okay so for to decode this code we have this circuit okay where the logical expression for this circuit can be given by a0 a1 a2 bar n a3 this is the circuit implementation to decode this code okay and the logical expression for this decoder is given by x is equal to a0 a1 a2 bar and a3 now let's discuss some other types of decoder 3 to 8 decoder as we know that if you have three bits combination if n is equal to 3 so the different combination possible at the output would be 2 raised to power n which is equal to 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 8 so that is why we call it 3 to 8 decoder also called binary to decimal decoder its truth table is given by here so for example if you have three inputs x y and z the different combination possible of these inputs are given here and based on every input we will have a certain combination of the output so for this combination where x y and z or three of them are zero the d0 will one or and all other outputs will be zero for 001 the d1 will be high and all other outputs will be zero for 010 the d2 output will high similarly for 111 the d7 output will remain high okay so this decoder is actually decoding information on the inputs and activates the certain outputs related to this code okay so keep remember that this decoder is active high output because when certain code is detected this output will remain high all other outputs will remain zero okay so this that is why this decoder is active high output to implement this uh, 
uh, truth table we need to write the k map or or the uh, we can also write the sop expression so the sop expression for this will be x bar y bar z bar because all other inputs are zero and for this one would be x bar y bar z x bar y z bar okay and similarly for the final one you can write x y and z so to implement all these uh, sop expression into a circuit form we can get that d0 will be equal to x dash y dash z dash so you have three inputs x y and z and you need to uh, get the x dash y dash and z dash so you need to invert it and apply it to the first um, gate which is AND gate okay because it is just multiplication SOP expression so we need AND gate to implement it okay then y, y dash z dash similarly for d1 x dash y dash z dash and finally for d7 it would be x y and z which is directly applied here to this uh, gate okay so this uh, circuit is basically a 3 to 8 decoder now let's discuss uh, a decoder with a special control or additional control so we can get uh, output based on if that control is activated or not so the next type of decoder we have is the uh, decoder with enable input here we have don't care conditions based on if the enable input is one if the enable in input is 1, no matter whatever input values are applied to the decoder, the output of this circuit will always remain high. So this is called the don't care condition of the decoder because if enable input is 1, now we are not using the decoder. The decoder is actually deactivated. Okay, So whatever value is available at A and B, if it is 0, 1, 1, 0 or 1, 1 or 0, 0, the output will always remain high okay so this is called the don't care conditions now now if we change the value of uh, enable to zero now this is uh, acting like the simple decoder here we have two to four bit decoder with enable input okay so uh, if the enable is 0 then it would totally depend on the value of the inputs so for 0 0 d0 will be 0 all other inputs will remain 1 for 0 1 d1 will remain 0 all other inputs will remain 1 so this type of decoder is actually active low logic because you can see that the respective output will remain 0 and all other outputs will remain 1 so this is the active low logic of the decoder now if you are going to implement this in circuit form uh, by writing the sop expression so you will get uh, d0 d1 d2 and d3 okay so this is the circuit implementation form of the decoder now practically the ic available uh, in labs or in the uh, market is 74hc154 this is the IC available for uh, decoding 4 bit to 16 bit or uh, another IC which is 74 LS154. So keep remember that we have already discussed that what is LS and HC these are just different technologies. This one is the CMOS technology and this is based on the TTL logic. So this IC is better than this one because it has more uh, reliable operation and it is more robust to variable voltages uh, so the this IC has the pin diagram shown here where you have four bit inputs and uh, from 0 to 15 outputs shown as from 0 to 10 at this side and from 11 to 15 this side you have two inputs for enable cs1 bar and cs2 bar so keep remember that it is active low so enable one enable here is the enable here is the active low logic and vcc and ground pins are also given the logical symbol form is given here you can clearly see how these different inputs and outputs are related 
ओके थैंक यू